today. I like to talk about my ideas about knots. And the first principle of knots is friction. If the pull on the string is a thousand kilo, one turn around reduces it to a hundred kilo, another turn reduces it to 10 kilo, a third turn reduces it to one kilo. So it's an incredible, powerful help, this friction. If the first principle of knotting is friction, the second is morphing. For example, if you have the square knot, like this, this is a nice square knot, but when you open a square knot, usually you do like this, and then the square knot turns into this, which is not a knot. And the same thing goes for the sheet band, a knot like this, it's a good sheet band, but you can also move this into this knot, which is not so good. But I use a different kind of knot. Which first I make an overhand knot like this, and then I turn this rope into here, and like this. Then you got a very good knot. It's in fact a Zeppelin knot, and a Zeppelin knot belongs to a group of intertwined overhand knots. So this is really that overhand knot and that overhand knot. Another kind of intertwined overhand knot is the alpine butterfly, which is usually made in this way. Here it also has two intertwined overhand knots. It's a very good knot. You can cut it here, it's still a knot. You can pull this way, it stays there. You can pull this way and it stays there. But with these knots, there is some disadvantages to them. For example, the Zeppelin knots, you can ma not make a loop with it. But if you're using it this way I do it, you do this, and you do this, and here, and you got a loop on a Zeppelin knot, like that. And you can even make it more secure by taking one more turn around here and the interesting thing with this is now you got this rope turning around two times and with the friction but also this time this part of it put stay together and they put that together and that put that together so here is three times ropes squeezing it together and it's a loop and it's very secure. I will show this knot again which I call it secure knot because I use it on my lifeline and in every critical situation. So you make an overhand knot like this and you pull it in here one time you put it around another one for extra security and then under these three things you turn it back and then you can tighten it up like this and you got a nice looking very secure knot which you dress in a nice way and you see like the one, two, three times squeezing it 
and it also goes around three times here and each time it goes around it takes her up 90% of the force and it will never flog up and a very good I put it around my waist you know for a lifeline and everything which has to stay takes a little bit longer to make than a bow line but it's much much more secure Because the secure knot, like the bowline, has ears, it is easily undone, even when your fingers are frozen. This secure knot got two ears. You got one ear here, and one ear here, and then you can just bend the ears down, and then it's fairly easy to undo it. Like this and this. Now you got the loop open and you can keep this overhand knot here if you want for example on your lifeline you're going to know exactly the position where it's going to be on the next time the good thing with the alpine butterfly knot is that it is a good strong secure knot that takes pulls in every direction but it's a loop and sometimes you want a loop inside a ring or around a tree therefore I have developed my own way of doing it you make an overhand knot on it and take it around what you want it around pull it in through there and over and there. then you got the alpine butterfly around and thing and then of course you can adjust it to make it getting it very close to where you want it and this is then you can pull it this way you can pull it this way and it stays there the problem with knots like the bowline and the secure knot is that they cannot be undone when strained if you knew that the situation like that might develop, use a knot which depends more on friction. For example, you take a turn around and then you take a back turn, goes back like that, and then you make a secure it like this. Then you can pull it as much as you want, but you can also, with the force on, and loosen it a little bit like this and tightening it up again or securing it again like this so this is a very good principle where the line may be under strain and yet still have to undone it <laughs> <laughs>